grew up on the extreme south side of Chicago in Gary, Indiana. I did not know anything about the USDA Forest Service. I'm from Raleigh, Durham, North Carolina, so I'm a city girl. My mother, she, she became a single parent, so she had to work two or three jobs around the clock. My mom had me when she was in 10th grade, 15 years old. I was working in a sawmill on the summer times, helping pay bills, so I grew up very young. You know, being from Chicago, uh, where I grew up at, there was gang life, you know, there was drugs. You know, I just kind of look back at my life, and a lot of times I was, you know, judged wrongly. I am a member of the Leech Lake Band of Ojibwe around Walker, Minnesota. Grew up in downtown Kansas City. Pretty much when I went to high school, um, I was going to do like everybody else, get a job right out of school. After you graduate high school, you're going to want to start thinking about a career. One of the things you might want to consider is United States Forest Service. There are multifaceted, multi-state agency that protects over 150 million people in every state in the country and every type of geography you can imagine. There's potential for travel, tuition reimbursement, and very, very competitive wages. I'd say everybody that fight fire, they get bitten by the fire bug. It's a way to make good money, but also be outdoors. I fell in love with fire while I was at Job Corps. And what inspired me to work for the Forest Service was one of the counselors there. She was an African-American woman. I said, wow, I'll, I want to wear one of those uniforms. I want to work for the Forest Service. There are many uh, African-American males. You, know, you might go to a training or you might go to a fire and you might just be you. And there could be a hundred, there could be a thousand people. I went to Alaska. Uh, I stepped off that plane, the air was fresh. I said, oh, wow. I was the only African-American on my squad. Um, but there was one more female. She was fit, I mean fit, fit in shape. She was a sawyer, so she ran the chainsaw. And I was like, man, you know, that's what I want to do. And, you know, she encouraged me. I had a hard time walking up that hill. She said, come on, girl, come on. I said, I'm coming. Individuals from all walks of life, individuals from all ethnic groups are represented in our workforce. You'll see women in all different kinds of jobs at all different levels. You know, throughout their career, they've risen up to more of a management supervisory level. You want to prove that you're technically capable. You want to prove you can do the physical things. I bring some qualities to this that they don't have, and I need to showcase those. If you're an outside person, these are the types of career, and we got a job for you. If you're an inside person like me, we got those careers and we have a job for you as well. You can be a computer person, you can be a support person, you can run heavy equipment, you can run a chainsaw. I'm in aviation right now and I'm a helicopter crew member, but I'm also a helicopter manager trainee. It's, it's pretty exciting. I mean, flying at you know high altitudes and things like that. Sometimes it can get scary. Sometimes it can be bad on your stomach if you fly too long. <laughs> Some of the biggest advice I could give to somebody that's interested in coming to this position is you have to have the initiative. If you really want to be a hot shot and a good hot shot, you have to be ready to go 24-7 for about six months a year. If you are going to be a wildland firefighter, you need to be in shape. You need to be physically, mentally, emotionally fit and ready to do really hard work. Firefighting is tough, it's dirty. You gotta have uh, mental toughness. You're gonna face some, some adversity. You know, sometimes you, you might be there 30 days where all you really have is nature. Can you, can you survive in that? I, I know how to deal with adversity because I dealt with it my whole life. This career enabled my confidence. So some of my crew members, they said, girl, I have a lot of respect for you. I said, why you say that for? Because we thought you was gonna give up. What keeps me coming back to work every day because it's, it's something new and then I love the people that I work with. The camaraderie that you get from being out there with a common mission, with people who are as passionate as you are about it, it's something that you take with you for the rest of your life. I had some counselors at school that decided to tell me that I had too much potential to waste and to go to college. So I went to Southern University. My degree is in forestry science and I got a minor in business. Went back to school, uh, got a two-year degree in forestry. You know, many fire crews, they try to accommodate college kids when they're off during the summer. So while they're doing their coursework, it's an excellent summer job. It's definitely given me an opportunity to do stuff I never thought I'd do. I wasn't supposed to be able to read and write and go get a degree, and I did all those things. So it's really about your own passions. Being a Native American in the USDA Forest Service has taught me to 
provide for future generations. I don't care if you're a female, a male, whatever race, gender, creed, sexual orientation, it doesn't make any difference. You need to have a passion for natural resources, for helping people, for making the outdoors better for the next generation. There's a favorite quote that I like out of a book that is, it's, I believe it's from Teddy Roosevelt that says, I'll never feel old as long as I have a forest to be young in. And that's, I keep that in my mind with everything that I go to. As uh, human beings, we're always growing. If, if we're not growing, uh, uh, one guy always say, if we're not growing, we're dying. So if we're not growing, you're not never really improving yourself. I never knew anything about wildland fire. I was not exposed to that. I come from a background, my mother worked fast food, retail. If someone tell you you can't do this, you need to go and explore the world. Be adventurous. If you got the toughness to fight through personal battles or whatever you have got, you've got going on, this is a rewarding job because you feel wanted, you, you feel needed, and if you give us everything you've got, you'll fit right in and you're gonna feel part of something pretty darn special.